Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Uh, what the heck? Um, okay, dude. Not even gonna ask. Uh, that made me lose my whole train of thought. Well, he's gone now. It's a ghost car. Maybe they went back to the future, Marty. Um, anywho, uh, <laughs> we got our wife's tractor this morning. And, uh, we're gonna head on down to the big field and start seeding that sucker. Uh, I'll just seed it until this is out, and we'll go back to the farm. I'll refill it, and then in the afternoon, we'll grab, uh, the other tractor. Hook up the liquid, uh, fertilizer spreader. And see if we can't finish the fields around the farm. Completely. Uh, we'll probably run out of fertilizer before we run out of fields. Um, if we don't, then the heck with it. I'll bring it down here and start spreading some of the good stuff. But, yeah. Uh, I think, if I remember, the big field's going to take about two and a half of these uh, seed tanks. So, I think I got enough canola. I got just over 2,000 canola in the storage area. But yeah, away we go. And of course we got the worker plowing that field right over there. So I'll have to kind of keep an eye on him. So when I know when he gets done, I can hire someone to cultivate it. Too bad he can't hire two workers for the same field, but that's very understandable. That'd be too complicated for uh, coding and all that fun stuff. But we're, we're closing in on finishing the fall season. I mean, the the field that we're doing and the worker that the field the worker's in now, those, those are the only two fields that are not seeded at this point. And of course, it's just a matter of uh, fertilizing what we can. Got to make sure they're all fertilized for the winter. Because that winter canola is going to pay off big in the springtime. Uh, sorry, I had a, like a frog in my throat. I had to clear it there for a second. So, hopefully, uh, I think we can get down around 40% done in the field. That's what I'd like to see, 40%. That way, uh, we don't have to make too many trips back and forth to get this done. And really, I don't want to be uh, seeding into the evening hours, because when it gets dark, I find it a little difficult to find out uh, where the soil line is, if that makes sense. The texture line. Gets a little harder to see. I did put canola in here. Yeah, I was like, okay. Uh, between farming sim and this game, I was like, uh, crap. I didn't, I didn't put wheat in here or something, did I? So, no rain on the forecast still. But right now, rain doesn't really matter too much because we had nothing left to harvest. And that's all that really matters is when it rains is you can't harvest um, as for jobs available today four jobs are available today and they're all transport jobs and from where the jobs are available from the pickup points are going to be all different locations so I'm not too excited about doing that if I have free time uh, when it comes to when I have no more work left to do, then I would do all the four jobs and just call it a day. But like I said, when I get when we get done all of our field work, uh, I'll do all those jobs off cam until April first. So we'll get some cash, and obviously social points as well. But today it's mainly. Uh, seed until this tank is empty then we'll go back to the farm refill it and prep it for tomorrow and then uh, we'll grab the other tractor and liquid sprayers and start spraying some of the fields that we got left to do and that's that's the only thing I got playing today which is quite a bit I mean 
it's already 7:30, and all I did was come down, you know, fill up the cedar, come down here, and haven't even made a, a circle yet. And I'm going to do about three circles before I do that little section there. I just like to get like three circles around the field just to make me feel like I've done something. When it's a big field, it's kind of hard to make feel like you've done something with. I mean, it takes you forever to I mean, I made one lap, and I have actually already seeded 8% of the field. So that's not too bad. But when you look at it, it just, it just yeah. This doesn't look, feel like you've done anything. <laughs> Three laps make me feel like, you know, I got some headlands done, and... I don't know, it's just, just the way my brain works. And don't try to figure out how my brain works because I've had it for a long time and I have no clue what the hell it's doing up there. The circle around we will. Like I said, hopefully we get somewhere around the 35 to 40% of the field done. Uh, it will take more than... It should take about three tanks. And like I said, I should have enough canola to do this field, but if not, well, let's go buy some, right? <laughs> That's right. What are we doing on cash? Oh yeah, just just shy of our uh, of uh, 1.7 million. Obviously, I'm going to hire two more workers: uh, one to cultivate that field, and another time to seed it. But if I remember, it's not going to cost us more than a grand more to do what uh, they're doing. And then we'll start focusing on, like I said, doing other other jobs during the off season, well, off season, off time. And if it comes down to it, we'll sell some stuff in the pantry, see if we can get that one and three quarter million mark by the end of the season. Which I thought a few episodes ago was like, uh, it's not going to happen. And as we move closer, it's like, you know, I, it's it's a possibility. As long as the wife keeps milking the cows. But what I'll do is I'll wait until uh, the last day of the season. Uh, oh, what's up? I'll wait until the last day of the season. Uh, September 31st. And... Uh, Just before I go to bed, or roughly then, we'll see where our money situation is, and then if we think we can make it, we'll sell some stuff. And uh, we'll call that the season, and then, uh, then of course, the next day after that will be the start of spring cleaning, hopefully. But the way my luck has kind of been, with no rain for the past three months... My guess is we'll wake up April 1st and it'll be like downpouring for like three days. Which if that's the case, we'll just have to skip the days and go, alright, be that way. But I think really in the last three months it's rained one day. And it was the, the first day this field that we're in was ready for harvest. It's like, oh yeah, that feels ready, let's go harvest. And I didn't even look at the weather and I just started driving down here and like halfway here it started raining like... Really? Really? It's going to rain. That's just the way it is sometimes. And it didn't really hurt us at all because obviously we're going to get all of our fields done. Like I said, uh, I think today is the 15th of September. And we're hoping to get all the fields done by the 20th. So that looks like uh, not an issue. I think what I'll do right now is uh, I'll get motoring around this uh, after I make this slap here and I'll finish off that little corner piece uh, but right now I'll bring it back uh, in a while and see how we're making progress on the field and probably hopefully have someone cultivating the other field by then so I'll see you in a second About, you know, the sixth or seventh time around the field at this point. And we got that little Covey Cove taken care of. 
and there should be a worker in that field up there cultivating it. Uh, there is a worker in that field. Alright. <laughs> He's just on, in the upper corner. I can't see him. Like uh, I hired him, never checked on him. So he's up there cultivating, which obviously means that the guy finished plowing. And uh, I think we're around ten percent of seed left in the tank. But we at six, oh six percent. But the good news is we're over thirty-three percent done in the field. So that means you know three tanks roughly, two plus. We'll just call it that. Uh, it'd be great if I can get to 40%, like I thought we should be able to. Well, we'll find out here shortly. Because we're going we're gonna to run out very soon. Then what I think we'll do is, like I said, we'll, we will not only just go down and fill it, but we'll bring the tractor back down full of seed. So we'll be down here for when I want to go again on it. But I really want to get uh, the upper fields done. The upper fields meaning the ones by the, the farm itself. And I'm pretty sure we'll use all the slurry that we got. And then uh, the last day of the year, we will top off or, or empty the uh, storage area for slurry. And if there are any... If there are any fields that are not growing yet, we'll try to spray some, but I think by then, most fields should be growing. But the way I've done it every year since uh, I've been playing, I want to say this is my third year. But basically, okay, I'll just say this. Every September, uh, I plant between the 10th and the 20th. And my crops always seem fine come April 1st. So that's just the way I do it. There are many ways people have said that you could do it. So, did I just run out of seed right there? I ran right out of seed right at the corner? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, the seed rolls down, and I'm not seeding anymore. Now, in case you didn't know this about the game, a lot of other things, like I'll tell you, which I don't get, your combine's getting ready to overfill, your trailer's getting ready to overfill, uh, it tells you when the artificial fertilizer's out of fertilizer, same with liquid slurry, the seed roll, nothing. So if you're just going along, not paying too much attention, uh, the only way I, you could really tell is either hit the right mouse button on the PC and uh, like right there it doesn't say, that, but doesn't even tell you there's none in there it just doesn't just show, show you nothing which you know maybe they can fix that at some point as you can see with the seed roll down you don't still this uh, soil texture doesn't change so you know hopefully they uh, fix that in the next major update But uh, yeah, let's head back to the farm. We'll top off. Oh crap, I wanted to see. I think I did look, but I already forgot. Uh, what are we at? 39%. So we should have enough canola in storage to finish off the season. Now the only thing, I, I don't know why it came back to me, is I, I'm not sure. We may have to see that field that worker's in. I think I had a hard time getting someone to seed it. I could always hire someone to plow and cultivate it, but we had to seed it. So if that's the case, uh, well, well, we'll figure that out when it comes time. Uh, but it is almost noon, so I knew that would take most most of the morning, I said. And, and it took the whole entire morning to seed that. But uh, yeah, I know I'm hungry. I know my shoelaces do not look like flipping pasta. Um, <laughs> I need to go back, fill this up. I'll bring her tractor and the seed drill back down to that field. We'll park it there. I'll jump back into our, uh, the blue. Uh, no, it's not blue anymore. Uh, it's almost like a brick colored tractor. Our tractor. I'm going to jump into our tractor. And 
we'll hook up one of the slurry tankers on and we'll start heading out and spraying some of the good stuff. So yeah, I'll see, I'll see you in a second. Okay, we got 18,500 kilograms of the good stuff. So we need to head on up to this uh, field that we didn't quite finish uh, a couple episodes ago. Uh, I can't remember if it was last episode now or not. I've been recording so many videos the past few days. Haven't been sleeping much, so I said, well, if I'm going to be up, I might as well record some videos, and I'm getting confused what episodes were what, when and where. So it was like a couple episodes ago, we started working on this field and ran out. Just like we're going to run out today <laughs> at some point. Oh yeah, so I ran out right there. Probably should have checked that first, but that's fine. That's fine. So the wife's tractor with the seed drill is down back at the big field. And uh, basically I got just enough seed in storage to almost fill the seed drill one more time. That's just, I'm just talking canola now. I got plenty of other seeds that I could do. And I really missed a lot. I left a big gap going up there. have to try not to do that again. It's one thing about going back and forth from farming games. You kind of get used to how implements spread and their, their coverage area. Then when you go back to another game, it just throws you all off. Hopefully in about a couple weeks we should hear some more about the uh, Farming Simulator 19. They have a show going on between the, what, the 17th, 19th, something like that. Of course by now if you're into the farming game you probably realize John Deere would be in that in uh, FS19. And if you kind of missed that, I, I think I mentioned in the last episode that I, uh, let's see, 87% good enough. We'll, we'll move on to another field. Like the big three uh, half hectare field down here. But uh, if I didn't mention last episode, but I think I did. Uh, they're going to have wildlife in FS19 with uh, birds. Meaning like when you when you plow, I guess when you plow the field, I guess they're going to have birds, you know, kind of like fall behind the tractor like they do in real life. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did mention last episode, so the only thing I've ever seen around here when our farmers plow the fields are, or when they spread manure, is about a day, day or so later the wild turkeys go out to the fields and eat all the insects that are in the manure itself. And I guess you're going to be able to see weeds growing in your fields as well. Now, I am talking FS19, so I don't think I'm talking about Farmer's Dynasty right now because he isn't playing the game, but I just got to, you know, I was just thinking when I was uh, bringing the wife's tractor back down to the big field that it seems like all the farming games that came out this past spring, and I'll, I'll include this one as well, Farmer's Dynasty and uh, Pure Farming. Uh, I'll even throw cows and crops in there. You just don't hear much, any, much more about these games at this point. It seems like uh, Farming Simulator still... I mean, yeah, they had a pretty good foothold on the on the gaming industry right now for farming. I don't hear much about pure farming anymore. Cows and crops is sort of like an Easter egg hunt. So, And I'm pretty sure maybe for some of you watching out there watching this, I think, yeah, Farmer's Dynasty is kind of hard to come by as well. Yeah, some of these games, I mean, it's good that more farming games came out. It kind of, it's kind of pushing Farming Simulator to not just kind of settle. Competition's always good. It makes people 
improve their product more when you got people that are competing against you when you don't you can kind of take it easy and say well where else are you going to go to get the gaming that you're looking for so it's good that we have these other farming games out there and I kind of hope they all do well because that just makes them all all the other farming games you know pursue to get make a better game themselves How much more we got in the tank here? Uh, about halfway through our tank. And the other slurry spreader, I think only has like 7,000 in it. But we'll go spray some fields with that as well. I just don't want to keep waiting, keep waiting until I can get more into it because if the crops do all of a sudden spring up and start growing, when we when we drive in to fertilize it, we'll ruin the crops. And we don't want to do that. So today we're spraying what we got. Round and round we go. doing on fertilization pretty good like I said I'm not in dire need to try to cover the entire field to get up to 90% it's not like artificial fertilizer where I can go buy it and I got enough to cover you know even the fields down below this here it's like I don't have enough to even do the fields up here so yeah we're just gonna get it roughly in the upper 80 percentile if I get in the 90s I get in the 90s actually we still got 30 percent in here which is pretty darn impressive because usually I don't have enough to cover all these fields down here and I'm doing rather well I only got two more fields after this I'm not saying this tanker is going to be able to do all of them, but. But you'll see when this tanker gets empty, you'll, you'll get the information notice that, uh, hey, your slurry tanker is empty. Unlike the seed roll, where it just not even a clue. And yes, I am turning the slurry spreader off way before it actually goes off. It actually takes about a second or two to go off. Uh, 90 percentile. We'll call that... I don't know, this little, this little piece right here is bugging me, so I'm going to have to do it. There. It's done. 13 percent should be more than enough. Well... Yeah, how'd you like that car? I'm not checking for traffic. Um, 13% might be enough to get this small field done down here, so we're going to come down here and do that. Like I said, we're going to use it all. Use it all, baby. If you ever want to save save a fertilizer for your fields, the winter the winter sowing is the time to do it. Now, I don't know if that's, this is true in real life that uh, canola does that, uh, actually produce more during the winter harvest than it does in the summer harvest. Don't know if that's a true thing or not. But in Farmer's Dynasty, it is. So we want to make sure we get good fertilization on these fields as much as we can. I was also thinking when we get done with the slurry tankers today, when we drop them all off, what we'll do is we'll hook up the artificial fertilizer, hook it up to this tractor, and we'll bring it down to the other end of the fields and see it says my container is empty. Although I didn't get the little 
uh, notification sound, but at least something popped up. Let me know. It was like, hey, you got a slurry, you know, take a look back there. You're out. But, uh, yeah, since uh, once we get done with these tankers, we will uh, hook up the artificial fertilizer, fill that up, and bring that down to the other field. So maybe we can start fertilizing those fields tomorrow as well. Got a few fields to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to park this right underneath the storage area. So all I have to do is back up and hook up to it and it'll empty. I mean, we'll get a little, little bit out of it today. So every day I think I'm producing, I'm producing that much slurry every day. Well, I'm not producing it. The cows are. Okay, let's, uh, how much we got in here? 9,000. That's actually pretty good. That might be enough to finish both fields. Yeah, I'm just, I'm still not feeling up for those four transport jobs because they're going to be scattered all over the place. And it wouldn't be fun to watch uh, on the video either because you just see me teleporting every three seconds. Bam, bam. I'm here for the package. Here's your package. My friend has my package. Here's your package. Deliver the package. So real, real lifelike. I can almost smell this. All right. So how do we do here? Ninety percent. Move on to the next field. And we still got more, okay, wow, we actually got more left. I may be bringing some of these, uh, these tankers down to the other fields. Don't want to waste it. That'll be something I might do once we get everything done. I won't have you watch me go all the way down to a field just to spray it for like 10 seconds. <laughs> but I will I will do it just because we got it. And we see how much production a field does when it doesn't have it and then it does have it. It's quite a difference. Not that I trust too much how the, the actual size of these fields because I think that's off a little bit as well. Round and round we go. Anyone getting dizzy yet watching me going around and around? Anyone out there getting motion sickness when they watch videos like this? Never bothers me too much. Unless I've been uh, hitting the sauce. Even then it doesn't bother me. So it looks like I'm going to have enough to head down to uh, the other end of the fields. I probably should have just brought the other empty tanker up and parked it. And I could have just filled this one. But now I'm going to have two tankers with slurry in it. But that's fine. It's too bad that you can't empty your tankers back in the storage. Let me get this uh, little piece right here. Yeah, 
There we go. And I'm going to go park this up. Almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So that, that actually took about 4 hours. Well, I don't know. I didn't. Maybe like three hours because I had to drive. We got done seating at 12 o'clock and then we had to drive down to the farm. And so I'm actually going to park them both down here for now. Actually, I might as well just bring this one back up. I got to get the artificial fertilizer anyways. But... I think that's actually going to conclude it. I'm not. You don't need to uh, watch me fill up the artificial fertilizer and bring that down. Just that both uh, tractors will be set to go in the morning. When we continue seeding the big field, is uh, the other guy done yet? Uh, no, he's not. Seventy-five percent done. But uh, yeah, next episode will be. I'll probably switch it up. I'll probably uh, fertilize first. And then we'll seed. And then we'll see how much time we got left. I'm, I'm probably going to want to finish seeding the entire field tomorrow. I don't want to expand it out through three days. I mean, we already got 40% of it done and it took me about six hours to do that. So I need about eight hours. Which shouldn't be a problem to seed that field and doesn't take too long to empty out this thing but uh, that'll be in the next episode so that's gonna do it for today guys thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time in farmers dynasty a day on the farm but until then have a good one